Hey guys, it's Gameface here, and welcome back to episode 27 of my Dortmund career mode. Now, in today's episode, we're going to be getting on with three more matches, the first of which is a massive game against Bayern Munich, who we're currently drawing level on points with at the top of the table, both on 14 points, so whoever wins this game is likely to go to the top of the league. Obviously, Leverkusen have a game in hand. Um, but yeah, we're basically got that game, followed by Atletico Madrid, uh, which will obviously be another tough match in the group stage, and then Frankfurt after that, if we can get onto that, hopefully in today's episode. Uh, but before we get into things, though, if we could go ahead and hit 50 likes on today's episode, I would really appreciate it. Also, if you haven't already, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button as well. By the time this goes out, I think we'll have 5,600 subscribers, so thank you all so much for that. Uh, I really do appreciate the support uh, on the, with the channel and on the series as well. Um, we, we are going to quickly go through the international break here, uh, and then we will get on to the Bayern Munich match, once we've done the player development and that sort of thing. Um, so there's plenty of time for our players to rest, obviously, over the international break. Hopefully no injuries during that time. Uh, we will get Iron actual training since uh, a couple of players have left us on international duty. So we'll go with those five players this week, see how they get on, hopefully have a bit of progress here. Uh, with a couple of players. Richard has gone up to 68 overall. Uh, Villain Reuter has gone very close to 77. He's about halfway there now. Emre Mort at 78. And his finishing is close to 87 now. Looks really good, Emre Mort. Can't wait to use him even more this season. Uh, so let's quickly get on to the buying game now. I'll we'll play that match, obviously, and then I'll we'll play the game afterwards as well and see whether we can get on to the Frankfurt match after that. Okay, this is a side that will come up against Bayern Munich. We've got Donnarumma starting in goal, Aurier starting at right back, Schul and Socrates at centre back, Dermot as my left back. Then Road in front of that. Two former Bayern Munich players, Sanchez and Thiago, starting in midfield. Dembele on the right-hand side, Royce on the left with Emre Moore starting up front. A really strong team. Road comes in at CDM because he's a little bit faster. Hopefully can keep track of some of the Bayern Munich players a little bit better than other CDMs that we have. And this is eventually gone with Gert, so not quite getting in the team. Uh, I decided to just put Thiago ahead of him. Pulisic was close as well, but I have a feeling he'll probably be needed off the bench. So that's the side we'll go with. We've obviously gone with the kind of the five midfield type thing um, because we've been playing that a lot recently. It's been working the last couple of games uh, and also against Bayern. You really need to try and pack the midfield as much as possible. So that's what I'm going to do. Hopefully it works out. This is really for uh, whoever takes the lead in the title race so far. We're only early on, obviously. This is only the seventh match of the league. Um, but still an important game nevertheless. Big rivalry. Hopefully we can get the three points. Here we go. They've got a very good team, Bayern. We know that, obviously. Uh, they've got some very good players. Despite us taking two of them from the midfield, though, I'm sure if I place them or got some other players that can play there anyway, Douglas Costa being one of the players that is just absolutely incredible in their midfield. So we've got to really make sure we can handle these players. It's going to be a tough game, obviously. Uh, hopefully we can do enough to prevent them from scoring and obviously get ourselves the win. Christian Eriksen might be a big player for them, though. Xavi Alonso getting into the box, plays it's Landowski. Good save, Donnarumma. They've opened us up too easily there, not good enough, eight minutes in. Um, they do seem to obviously have a lot of the possession. I think that'll be the case throughout the whole game, to be honest. Good chance for Eriksen, playing it out to Xavi Alonso again to play it back in. And that's poor for him. Oh, and Moore brings it down brilliantly. It's very much on here, the attack. He needs that run from Dembele, he's got it, he's going to shoot. Oh, that's a comfortable save from Neuer in the end. Really good for Emre Moore, though. Just managing to outdo the centre-backs and the defence as a whole. But it's going to be tough for Emre Moore. He's up against, obviously, two very big centre-backs in Mats Hummels and Boateng. It's going to be tough for him, but uh, he did very well there. Road. Going to look for Emre Moore now with the pass. Emre Moore needs to play it to Sanchez. Great chance to get it across. Road. Oh, he finishes it off against his former club. What a counter-attack that is. I'm going to call it a counter-attack because we really have not really touched the ball at all, to be honest. Uh, it's been all Bayern Munich. They kind of gave the ball away or we've won it back in midfield. And we managed to counter-attack and get ourselves the goal just before half-time. Not deserved whatsoever. They have dominated possession. They've had a few more chances than us. They've not really caused us loads and loads of problems, but they've certainly been the better team. Uh, so for us to take the lead off the post with a former player is obviously quite nice. 1-0 just before half-time. Uh, we've not really done too much. That might be one of our only shots. I'd say half-time. Still winning the game 1-0. Really good result at the moment, obviously. Not a deserved result. We'll probably see that from the stats in a second, uh, if you can just have a look at the match facts. Uh, and we actually have had the same amount of shots as them. I really don't remember having three shots. It seems from those stats that it's pretty even. It's really not. They have dominated possession much more than that. But we're winning the game 1-0. Well, Let's keep the team the same. We might make some changes fairly soon, though, uh, if things do start to change. Okay, first change. Dembele is going to come off. Pulisic will come on now on the right-hand side. 30 minutes to go. The reason why I've made this change, by the way, is because Dembele's really not been very good. So uh, we need to really try and change him out a little bit uh, and bring in Pulisic because I can't continue to have uh, someone in the team that's not really 
performing at the moment. So we're going to take out Dembele. Pulisic will come on. Hopefully he can put in a good performance. He'll probably go in behind the striker at some stage when Thiago inevitably comes off. Uh, we have 30 minutes left now. We need to hold on to this lead. They've got themselves a corner here, Bayern. Uh, and we need to try and just clear it as best as possible, really. And as quickly as possible. Try and get some straight out if we can. Eventually goes out. Okay, final two changes. Schuller and Marino will come on. We'll take off Road and we'll also take off uh, Thiago as well, who was getting very tired and uh, starting to get a little bit sort of lazy getting back as well. So Pilos should go at centre attack in mid. Schuller on the right hand side. And obviously, Moreno is the CDM. Uh, we'll give that a go. Hopefully, it works out okay. There's just over 20 minutes to go. We need to keep all of this lead and get the three points. No way. Absolute nonsense. Absolute nonsense. Look, what is that? That's such an easy goal that we've conceded. How is it one all from that? That is complete nonsense. I, I can't believe that. Oh, after how well we've defended and played, to concede like that is ridiculous. I can't believe that that's just happened. It was so easy. It was just as if we weren't even there. I can't believe the way we've just conceded. Ten minutes left, and... We look more likely to lose this game now. What's happening? Just defend! Oh my days, if you're not in the right position, get in the right position. It's really not difficult. one all feels like a loss. Can't believe that. I don't know how I've conceded like that. Alright, they've had enough chances for them to, you know, get a goal, fair enough. But to concede the way we have done, I can't believe that. That is two points dropped. So frustrating. Defended really well, and it's just a really average attack, a really sort of nothing special about their attack, and they're just going to score from it. As easy as that. Uh, Brooks isn't happy with this role at the club, uh, Gertz is not happy either, to be honest. Uh, we need to get them into the team more often, and I've said that before. Um, it's very difficult with a, a very competitive squad at the moment, and a couple of players not playing particularly well, so I think, you know, they will get into the squad in this next match, uh, because it is in like three or four days' time, so I'm sure they'll get into it this time round. But Emre Mol there, his finishing going up to 87 there, uh, is overall obviously remaining at 78. But yeah, we're going to move on to the next game against Atletico Madrid. They're currently top of our table on the same amount of points as us, but just leading us on goal difference, I assume. So we will get on the game, hopefully bounce back from that um, frustrating result, let's say, uh, against Bayern, where we probably should have won. But uh, yeah, we'll move on to making the team now. Okay, this is the side we're going to go with for the game against Atletico Madrid. Uh, we've also got Dom Roma starting in goal, pass like at right back. Tar, Brooks and Guerrero make up the completely changed back four. Vigil in front of that, Castro and Pulisic playing as the other midfielders. Schiller on the right-hand side, Goetz starting on the left rather than Pulisic. Want to give that a go for now. Pulisic, I think, plays better inside. Uh, so we'll go with that. I actually start up front as well. That is the bench I've gone with. Sanchez, Dembele, Rich to get on there. Alexander Arnold on the bench as well, in case we need somebody a little bit different. Still needing Bamiyang to come back, though. I don't know how much longer we have to wait now, but really do need him back if we can to uh, make sure we're scoring some more goals. He's back in actually two weeks, which is a little bit sooner than I expected. I thought he was out for a little bit longer, so two weeks we've got to wait now until Bamiyang returns. Here we go, we're at home for this game, we need to obviously perform well, we need to make sure we get the three points, continue our unbeaten run, our, uh, continue our winning run as well, actually, in the Champions Cup group stage at the moment. We need to obviously do that against one of the tougher teams, if not the toughest team in our group. So, uh, yeah, it needs to be a good performance from us here. Goetz has won it back from the corner, onto Iannaccio, brilliant break from their corner. Need a little bit more support in the box if we can. It's through to Goetz, can he finish it off? Oh my days, no way has that just happened. Off the bar, I Nacho to shoot gets blocked. Maybe could have taken an extra touch before the shot, but still should have scored that. Ugh, can't believe that's hit the bar as well. Pass slack through to I Nacho. Oh, nearly got brought down there. I Nacho gonna shoot. Happy to take the deflection, I think, there and get a corner if we can. Need a much better ball than what we've had in previous games. It's not great. Pulisic on the edge of the box. Gonna now play on to I Nacho. Ah, look to try and feed it in if we could. No way. Oh, my God. Ugh, undeserved. Really undeserved as well. We've been the better team in this game. He's gone through his legs. Donnarumma just couldn't close his legs. And they are winning four minutes left of this first half. Don't know what that pass is. I don't know how that's happened. Half time. Losing the game 1-0. 
Shouldn't be that score, um, really should not be that score at all. I felt like done quite well actually, uh, especially in that first 20 minutes we did really well against them. We weren't really involved in the match at all. Uh, so yeah, frustrating that we actually find ourselves behind somehow in this uh, first after that first half. Uh, so yeah, we'll crack on with the second half now and uh, hope that we can get back into it. We might need to make some changes though, I've got a feeling that this team won't be good enough. Yeah, we're going to make the changes now. Sanchez and Dembele are going to come on. We'll take off Hulicic and Castro. Poor performances from both of them yet again. Goetzer will play at centre attack in mid, uh, and we'll hopefully go with that. The third change will be made at some point, uh, and have to do that fairly quickly as well if things don't change. Ball through to Iannaccio. It's a really good pass if he's onside. Iannaccio to shoot. one all. The subs haven't even come on yet. It's a fantastic pass from Weigl. Really good. That's what we've lacked. We've lacked that bit of quality, and we've got a bit of luck as well there. The defence not really holding the line together. Uh, the centre-backs keeping us on there. And actually smashing it past the goalkeeper from a tight angle as well. It's a decent finish across the keeper, and it's one all. Uh, what, about 30 minutes left now the substitutes will come on? Okay, third and final change. Richter will come on. We'll take off Goetz. So again, getting very tired, Goetz. So we'll, what we'll do is uh, we'll bring in Richter, play him at centre-attack in mid, and hopefully find ourselves a second goal with 15 minutes to go. It's going to be a tight one. Hopefully we can, though. Uh, just going to have to maybe rely on another error from them. Dembele coming inside here. Going to shoot Dembele on his right foot. Keeper just about parries that one out. Four minutes to go. We're going to play it short because we've not really been doing much from the normal corners. So we'll go from a different angle. Put it into the back post. Oh, Ty, you've got to do better there. Maybe it should be a second goal. And Acho wins it back. Really poor for Miranda. Not a lot of options there, and I didn't mean to shoot. That's it. One all. It's finished. I think they certainly dominated the second half. We were better in the first half. A draw is probably fair, to be honest. Um, you can see we've had more shots than them, but they've had slightly more possession. I think a draw is fair. We, on another day, we could have nicked that one. Um, it's a shame to have drawn both of these last two games. I was after a win from at least one of them, to be honest. Uh, we haven't managed to get that. Anyway, Man City have lost to PSG 3-2 uh, in their match. Bayern won against Inter Milan 3-2. Um, some fairly high-scoring games, actually. There, One, uh, one of them was 0-0, though. Um, so other than that, there was actually some fairly decent matches by the looks of it. So we've got this game against Frankfurt now. They're currently fourth in the league. We're second. They're four points behind us uh, after playing the same amount of games. I don't think we quite have enough time to play this one in today's episode. We'll see whether it's home or away, but I think it might be an away match, this one. Uh, so we might not be able to sim it. Unless we go through the calendar, which is obviously very risky. Uh, Bamiyang is obviously returning from his injury now as well. He won't make it back for this game, though. Uh, he'll have to wait until the next match in the next episode. So yeah, I'm not too sure what to do about the Frankfurt game. I, I don't really think we can afford to sim it, just in case we lose it. Um, so we might have to wait uh, until the next episode to play that one. We've also got IP uh, Leipzig as well, I think is how you pronounce that. Uh, yeah, we've got RB Leipzig in the next episode, and Freiburg as well, I think, will be the final game of the month. Uh, so those three matches to look forward to in the next episode. I think we will get through all three of those, actually, uh, next time round. I know I say that's most episodes now that we'll get through three, uh, but today we couldn't quite... That is everything for this episode. Thank you all so much for watching. If we could go ahead and hit 50 likes, then I would really appreciate it. Also, if you haven't already, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button as well. That would be absolutely fantastic. And yeah, I'll see you next time for another episode. Thank you for watching and goodbye.